What is up everybody, Brick Artemis here, and today is a special video. But before we go ahead and get started, I just want to welcome you if it is your first time. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know the next time videos come out. Well, today is a special video because I received a gift from Brian over at Maji Space to review a mono the new mono. So this is what that video is gonna be all about. I'm also gonna kinda of compare it to Detoffs a little bit. I don't really wanna to talk too much about the building process as I had some help from the Jedi Knight's Watch, not gonna lie. So if you wanna watch more on the building process, go check out his video. But I kinda of just wanted to talk about different displays that you can use in these cases. So let's go ahead and get started. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. This mono is way better than a Detoff. It is better than a Belieden. It's just the way to go. And for the price, I mean, this is $200 out the door. And there's more space to it. It feels more sturdy. And it comes with the lighting. So all in all, better. Just plain out better. Guys, before you guys think this is nothing but a positive review, I do want to be honest, okay? There are a couple of cons, and it's unfortunate, but there are. I just want to be honest. The first con being the packaging, the shipping, okay? I had some issues with my box, as I hear from a couple other people. Not everybody, but I think it's just because this package is just so long that things just start sliding around and and all of that however there wasn't too much damage other than my pull tab coming off but i just used a little bit of super glue put it back on waited overnight and it was perfectly fine again but yeah i mean holes in the side of the box and no that's not maji space's fault it's it's just coming from overseas and from california then to to where i live and it's just a lot of of traveling so that's tough that worries me but overall everything turned out fine and let's take a closer look all right so the first thing i want to talk about as we take a closer look here is the lighting so here is the mono with the lights off if i want to turn them on i can use this little control look almost looks like an old school volume Thing that you see on a TV or old school TV or something, but basically you just turn it on and you can make it brighter, a little dimmer, you can go halfway. But this is with the mono being all the way lit. Now I want to kind of show you in real time here as I kind of dim the lighting here and then make it brighter again. So yeah, you can stop it wherever you want, whatever works best for whatever lighting you have in your display to match it. Now, Here's another con, the fingerprints. <laughs> it's all good though, because guess what? ka we have a little cleaning cloth that comes with every single case. All you gotta do to open this bad boy is pull on this tab that I had a super glue, but it's all good. It's working just fine, and I pull this uh, front piece off, move it over to the side a little bit, and then I can get going with the cleaning. Yeah, so just unfold it there, take it down, wipe it down a little bit. It might take a few seconds there, but then all of a sudden it will be gone. Fingerprints, dog hair, all that stuff that attracts it. Now, I want to see what it looks like with some figures. So let's go ahead and move some of these figures from my Maji cases into this new mono. Let's see what all can fit in here in real time. Okay, now that we got some fun out of the way there, some random, um, I gotta say, this looks really, really, really good. And with some of these pieces, these big diorama bases, they look really good in here too. And they fit nicely. 
and I don't have to worry too much about space. I mean, I can even stack some more in here if I wanted to, but I kind of just wanted to give you a general look at what some of these newer figures with some of these bigger bases, because we're getting a lot of these big diorama bases now, and I got to say it looks good in these monos. And I was a little worried about that because a lot of these bases do not fit in the detoss very nicely, in my opinion. And as you can see here, too, like, this mono is about two inches taller, and that's without the feet than a detoff. Pretty sweet. A little side profile here. I think, I think the bases look great in these monos and fit nicely, like I said before. And you don't have to wor really worry about headspace, and there's room on the side and the front and the back. You can really make it however you want, which I'm going to show a lot of different... A, a huge variety of things that you can do with this mono and what you can put in these bad boys. So I'm really liking it. Here's with the light a little dimmer. And look how thick this this plexiglass is. So you can put 10 pounds on this bad boy on each, each glass. And if you want to, you can e even lift this up here, slide it out. And as you do that, you can even fit, as you can see here, more Spider-Man but you can fit different figures, such as a quarter scale. So yes, you can take the, the shelves out, you can make them however tall, short you want them, fit different things in there, make it your own. I love that about these monos because right here, this quarter scale, I cannot fit in my dang detox because I have the lighting in there and I can't take out the shelves, it's gonna mess it up. Now you can do that if you do it right to begin with, but uh, it's just nice to have this mono to where I can put a quarter scale in a case and not worry about it being on the shelf. I think it looks really good, guys. So you've seen some figures in here. Let's make it a little different and put some Lego in here. Now, I know Brian from Aji Space is a huge Lego guy. I, I did a, uh, an interview with him on the Life Lego built on his collecting journey, and it was all about Lego. So I had to put some Lego in here. As you guys might have seen my previous video on what Lego looks like in Maji cases, I had to do it for this mono as well. And man, it looks really good. Some of these Lego sets, like I, I'm able to open this up in here, and I'm sorry, but for you Lego guys, I got the Billy shelves, they're nice and all, but for the price and the lighting, if you wanna go hard, if you want, you want your Lego set and your display to to really pop and make your room totally different, you got to go with Maji Case. So shout out to Maji Space and uh, kind of, you know, Lego guys, where you at? All right, and here we have some Iron Studios Minico statues. I kind of wanted to mix up the display just a little bit. We got some hot toys underneath with WandaVision. It looks really good. I love the way that these figures are, are kind of reacting to the light the way that the light reflects off of these figures i love that you can change the temperature of the lighting and everything like that it just looks really really good and to bring up the lighting again i want to show you here kind of where the wires go so you plug it all in up there and then you got the light strips there on the side so to be able to look that good and that thin of a light strip to kind of hide it it's pretty sweet I also want to take a look at this lip here on a detoff. Now, when you're putting figures in there, it really stinks because you got to put them sideways. Whereas here, you're pretty good and it gives you so much more depth as I brought up before. So that lighting really reflects good. But again, because of the plexiglass, when you have the figures on top of this glass, you will see the prints. Now, going in to showing some of the Batman. Now, I love the way the light is reflecting off of him as well. I think that all these figures are looking phenomenal in the mono. I just wanted to kind of show a variety, hence why I showed Lego and why I showed some Iron Studio statues and why I'm showing different figures here because I just want to have such a huge variety for you guys. You guys can kind of see, like, if you have any of these figures, what it would look like in your display. This Buzz Lightyear right here, I love it. I love the reflection. I love everything about this Lightyear, the way light hits it, no matter what, where it's at. It just looks super cool. So, yeah, Lightyear, got a soft spot for him. So guys, if you didn't know, Maju Space also does these bigger cases here. They actually have bigger cases than this as well. This is the 110.6 series and the 55s that are connected to it. 
the lighting in there is great as well. A lot of room, a lot of space. And then you have these detoffs here. Now, I would love to get monos in replace of these detoffs because the monos are bigger. There's just more space. Everything we just talked about. I mean, that lip on the, those detoffs, I just cannot stand now, now that I've seen what the mono looks like and what I can do with the mono. But, I mean, having five of these next to the other Maji cases that I have lined up would be pretty, pretty sweet. Now, I don't really like the top of the case because it has these little slots in there that I feel like there could be like a little piece that you can clip on there and cover that up. But, I mean, you're not really looking on top of the case, but if you're putting figures or something on top of there, like maybe Lego sets and you do like filming or something, or you're looking, you're dusting or whatever, you just, you notice it, and that's something little that would bother me. So yeah, overall, I would give these monos an A. I mean, if I'm doing like an like that type of scale, I would give it an A. I mean, really the only things that I don't really like about it, like I said, is the top, but that's so minor. The packaging, which is also minor, and that I'm sure can easily be fixed. And then I do feel like the front panel is a little too long and floppy but it's something i can easily get used to here things i love about it are the lighting how you can switch it from high lighting to low light or low lit i love the fact that there's so much space even if all of the shelves are equally spaced out there's still a lot of room and you can even switch that up to where you can fit your quarter scale or your taller lego sets or whatever you have you can also go ahead and put these feet on like i mentioned before to make the whole case taller in general and make it like four inches taller than a detuff and it's just it's it's super super cool super clean i love the monos and for the price i love that too because it comes with the lighting it, and it comes from a, a good company with Brian in the lead and just such a great guy. And if you need anything, he's going to be there for you. So there's a lot of, of good things coming from Maji Space. I love that they are giving us more product. So it's just awesome. Great company. I absolutely love it. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time a video comes. Until next time, keep breaking.